So here's a quick video I made uh, coloring a horse about how to give your horse a more realistic feel. First I like to start with a very dark color black or, or the closest thing you have to black and I accentuate the shadows usually around the nostrils especially inside the nostrils and under the mouth and, and under the neck and preferably under where the mane is covering any areas of the head. And the direction of your stroke is very important. You always keep it curved, as if you're brushing around the horse's head. So you kind of feel where the curves are. Now, wherever you see shadows in the drawings that I have made, you can darken them and, and make them appear um, deeper by adding the darker colors. If you are if you're using brown or an ochre color, use the darker shade of it and just with a very gentle tapered stroke, just go over as if you're going over the same lines of, of the shading that's already on there. And you just can keep applying layers. It's better to just apply layers because it will give you more depth. Then you just continue to keep adding layers of color. Make sure the colors that you choose are in the same family and they're very close, um, but you'll find that the warmer colors um, will, will just give it a more vibrance. And then you just keep adding more shadow in the areas that you feel should be darker. Um, things that are behind, like if you have an object that's behind or an object on, on top of your horse, then right behind it you're going to add the darks. In the end, just keep experimenting with your colors, try different colors. Uh, I actually recommend if you can find photos pictures of horses, uh, especially something you really like or the colors you like, use that as a reference. Uh, use the, the shadows as a reference. It will help a lot. The more you see these things, the more it will affect your coloring and you'll, you'll just see just a drastic improvement in your coloring and yeah, and don't forget to have fun.